Hello and welcome. Picking up from where we last left off, today I'm going to be looking at the easiest challenges to get to possum rank and what rewards you get at the end of reaching possum rank. So picking up in Wavy Willards, we've got a couple of pictures we need to take for the swimming challenge. It's just free around here now. You don't need to worry really about these scorch in this area because they're all usually quite low level. Um, we just need to take three pictures here. So I've already got the one of the crocodile, the one of Sliver Slide there, and the other one is just over here. Now you do need to kind of get close because for some reason the camera doesn't pick these up if you're too far away. Like I'd have thought that would have been a great picture there, but you have to get a lot closer to actually get the picture of this. Um, to each their own, I guess. Still being chased by all the scorch in this park. I, I honestly couldn't really be that bother to kill them because they, they don't do much. They don't do much at all. But we just finish cleaning them up so we can get this last picture. And get on to some of the more interesting parts of these challenges. Like I say, uh, objectively, I think these are the easiest challenges to do. So, on to the next part. We need to do a swimming test. And it's up here. If you activate it, um, it's going to say that you need a swimsuit. Luckily, there is one over in this locker. Um, this is up by Spruce Knob, in fact, where the swimming test is. Once you've got the swimsuit on, you can activate the test again. Okay, twerbs, let's get this over with. Time to prove you can swim. And not just because you want a badge, but because I don't feel like dragging your sorry behind out of the water if you can. The test is super simple. Put on a swimsuit, go to each buoy, and get back here before time runs out. Swim to them in any order, I don't care. Just make sure you hit all of them. And again, don't forget to wear your dumb little swimsuit. Also, be respectful of any water life you bump into or whatever. No crying if you get bit by a snapping turtle. Oh yeah, and don't drown. Then I'd have to get wet. There you go, and once he's finished blabbering on, simple enough, you just need to go through this water and hit all these boys. Uh, mainly for most of this, you don't even need to swim. Like, I got my power armor and everything because I didn't want to sink to the bottom of the lake and walk really slowly. But, for most of this, there are one or two bits that are a little bit deeper, but most of this you just walk. That scared the death out of me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that when I first came here. Um, yeah, quite terrifying when a uh, Milot Queen just comes out of nowhere as you're uh, just taking your swimming lessons and she just pops up. Not, not cool. Not cool at all. This is really simple, this test. Like I say, it gives you plenty of time. I've still got ages left and I'm done, um, I guess. Bethesda gave you some more time so you could possibly fight the Milot Queen, but I was more focused on just getting these challenges done. In fact, it didn't even properly aggro on me. It's just chilling out over there. Okay, and once you get back, out. that's all completed. <laughs> now onto the athletics course. Um, now these are actually marked out by these yellow flags at the locations it talks about. Um, don't want to go to the old athletics courses that have been here for like ever uh, because they are nothing. I spent a good while going over and over and over again doing the one up by the bridge. Uh, and yeah then I realized that it wasn't actually one of those challenge ones that I need to do. When you find one of these locations, you'll have the yellow flag and, again, one of the little speakers. So 
a little bit too quick for it though. Um, you have to go through them and it doesn't register, you won't be able to complete it unless you've gone through them all in order and got that little uh, ping sound there. Now it's fairly straightforward, um, nothing that difficult, especially if you've got like Marsupial and Speed Freak, just, it's really easy really. And it's just a straight sprint pretty much to the end there. And there are three of these that you need to do, all getting progressively, I guess, progressively more difficult. There's not much of a difference between them, really. Um, this is the one at the bridge, which I finally worked out is on the bridge. I'm kind of curious who set these up. The uh, previous one kind of made sense, that like, could have been pre-war. This one is, uh... This one's been changed. Like, it's been moved around a bit, I guess. Um, let's see what I mean. Like, it's got, it's got drop-offs down and the flags carry on. Of a, what would probably be treated as quite dangerous for children. Um... Yeah. <coughs> if this is pre-war, then how how was this set up? <laughs> I'm very curious how how this was all set up pre-war. But it's very again straightforward. It tells you exactly where to go. You just need to sprint on through. Um, just being careful not to run out of time. To be fair, I don't think you unless you're. Uh, like get very sidetracked I don't think you really will run out of time um, unless maybe you are completely over encumbered of like no AP then potentially just trying to work out which way to go there again this is not very safe for a pioneer scout now did the did the robots set this up after the war? Like, did someone just change it and the robots were like, yeah, that's fine. So this can't have been set up pre-war unless this entire bridge was destroyed pre-war and the scouts were using it to do their training on. <laughs> you see that, I finished that with plenty of time to spare. And now for the last one, um... This one's a little bit more exciting, I guess. Yeah, so that bit about death coming for us all around on the floor around here <clears throat> this entire place has just been like mined and trip mined and <laughs> trapped now uh, whether the raiders did this I'm not sure but <laughs> yeah they definitely uh it's either that or the pioneer scouts leader just did not want anyone managing to pass through this um See, we've got rocket launchers set up, trip wires set here and there with flamers attached to the side. This is a much more glorious athletics test, I, I will say that. Go jump over the flames there. <laughs> just, just step out of the way of the body that's being launched at me. And there we go. Apparently that sol roof isn't solid. Now carry on just with the swimming challenge. Um, got one here. I'm going to knock two out of the park. Going to demonstrate this Pioneer Scouts values. 
and also going to revive someone in water. Now I'm going to point out it needs to be very shallow water like this. Uh, my assistant died uh, many, many times they sacrificed themselves for me to learn that fact and drowning after dying and exploding after dying and they, they died an awful lot. Best place to bring them is over to Wavy Willards. There's just that pool of water there that's deep enough for you to do it. Um, it's very simple and straightforward. And then once you get back, you can just talk to one of the scout leaders and they'll basically tell you you're, uh, well, let's let them talk. Go, completing that gives us the backpack and the scout uniform. And just having a look, we now also have access to not just the tadpole vending machine, but also the possum vending machine. Um, we get things like the high capacity mod, and plated mod for our backpacks, um, a couple of plans. Um, we can get night vision lens for our camera through here. And all of those you can earn just by doing such things as like the badge challenges and such. Now, just as uh, mentioned about one of the other easiest um, challenges, we did unlock some more there. Now that we're part of the possum, we've unlocked a bunch more uh, world quest badges that we can do. But the other challenge was the archery challenge. Now, that one was fairly easy. Um, <laughs> pretty much just need to get a crossbow which you can get the plans for in this camp um kill just kill people with it um craft enough of its ammo and repair it um there's also an archery challenge that is in this area next to where the crossbow spawns um that you can go and do and it's literally just hit the targets you just need to hit the targets in the center there's like five targets it's very easy and straightforward you see there's a lot of challenges that have now been locked with the possum badge. That's a lot more exams that I can tear my hair out at and a lot of time taken over. Now just having a look, this is uh, what I look like uh, with the backpack on as well as the Pioneer Scouts uniform. And we're going to be wearing this while I uh, go around and help people survive Appalachia. So far, I think this is a decent update they've done. There's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to do now in terms of like doing the challenges. There were some other things introduced with the update as well, such as like the legendary, uh, well, not the legendary vendor, but the legendary scrap machines and things like that. But those I'll cover in another video. So thanks for watching. Have you managed to get your Pioneer Scouts uh, backpack and get to a possum rank? Um, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for future content just like this.